Hi, I'm Jo Day Sarmi. Today's video will be demonstrating exercise options for women who have had breast surgery. I realize breast surgery includes everything from lumpectomy to breast reduction, but I'm going to be speaking more t uh, directly to augmentation procedures and post-mastectomy reconstruction, which means reconstruction after breast cancer. Do not do any of these exercises unless you have, first of all, intact back and uh, chest or pectoral musculature, you've gotten your doctor's approval, and you've waited six weeks post-op to do the exercises. Stop any activity if you have pain or pulling sensations in your chest or back area. The following exercises are recommended for women with intact pectoral and back musculature. Reverse flies, rows, bent over tricep extensions, straight arm extensions, lat pull downs, bicep curls, front raises, and lateral raises. All of these exercises you'll notice either target the back musculature or the arm musculature and avoid the chest or pectoral muscles. Starting with the reverse flies, make sure that the incline on your machine is set very, very low, if not at the very lowest setting. Reverse flies are going to be working the back, so you need to take yourself here and face the column. You can either sit with your feet extended here or stand on your knees, I'm going to start on my knees. Reverse fly works the back muscles, so I'm here. Now if this is too hard, doing it with both arms at the same time, you can always do one arm at a time. Raising the arm out to the side, squeezing the muscles through the back. In a row, again, you can either sit flat or sit on your knees. Engage your core, bring your elbows down by your sides, and pull with the elbows behind your body, squeezing the muscles between your shoulder blades every time you bring your elbows back. That's your row. You can also do a high row, but I really recommend starting with a low row. The bend over tricep extension is like so. You just bend over, you bring your elbows by your side, your arm is bent 90 degrees at the elbow, and you extend the arm back, working through your tricep. A straight arm extension, you start with the arm straight behind you and bring it to right next to your knees. So exhale, push, inhale, release. This is your straight arm tricep extension. Lat pull downs can be executed on the chest. Make sure that your breast tissue is not being compressed into the board. Working through the lats, you raise your arms over your head, engage your core, squeeze the buttocks, and pull the elbows down by your side. Working through the back in your lats. The arm exercises, in order to avoid recruiting the pectoral muscles, I encourage you to start with one arm. And get your feet on the floor so you're able to give yourself a little extra support if you need it. A bicep curl right here, start with your elbow by your side, and then squeeze the, the fist up to your shoulder. So this is a one-arm bicep curl, completely supported with my feet on the floor. As you get stronger, you can increase the weight that you're pulling by taking your feet off, and then go ahead and progress the move to both arms at the same time. You're pulling a little bit harder, bicep curls. Front raises, same thing. You can do it with one arm, supported with the feet on the floor, front raise right here. It's not a very big range of motion, but you're using the arm here. You can take it over your head, but you're gonna feel a lot more in your chest when you take it over your head. So just a small range of motion right here. For the lateral raise, you're targeting your deltoids. Engage your, your core by uh, slightly extending the back. Right here, squeeze the glutes, raise the arms out to the side. Working through the back and the shoulder.
dumbbells for the exercises of the arms and the shoulders, go ahead and use one dumbbell at a time and start with a very light weight, three to five pounds maximum. So one arm bicep curl, you can do an open arm bicep curl or a closed arm bicep curl like so. You can do a front raise like so, just to shoulder height. Or you can do a side lateral raise just to shoulder height, working through your deltoid and contracting your core the whole time. Use extreme caution when you decide to start doing chest exercises. Following exercises, the push-up, the chest press, chest flies, pull-ups, muscle-ups, handstands, and even sun salutations are all chest-specific exercises that you need to get medical clearance for uh, before trying those out after breast surgery.